statement I made use of 11 million naira. 11 million naira. Tell me where I want to see that money. <laughs> where do I want to see 11 M from? Where? Excuse me, where? You don't carry your money around your way. You are in pursuit of money. You are pursuing money before they will pursue your own money. <laughs> So basically hi guys welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys all the documents required for your study route okay and this video is going to be detailed because i'm going to be showing you guys all the documents how i was able to get all the documents and all of those stuff so the first document required is your application form of course you know that you need to fill your application form online if you want me to make a video on how to fill your application form please go ahead and put that down in the comment section and i am going to put up a video on that so this is basically what the application form looks like i think it's focused so this is what the application form looks like so basically you just have like all your details your name your address your phone number your passport details the school you intend to study where you have your admission you know your sponsor who is your sponsor and all of that so basically it's just about four pages but trust me these pages are just like basic questions you know the school your details your address when do you intend to arrive when do you want to leave who is sponsoring you that is basically what we have here now you're basically going to fill this form online like i said earlier if you want me to make a video on that please go ahead and put it down in the comment section so once you've gotten your visa they are going to once you've got it not your visa okay once you've gotten your appointment letter for your interview for your visa interview once you've gotten that appointment you are going to receive this slip this is what it looks like i don't know if it's focused but this is what it looks like so at this point what you just have is your date of appointment and your time you know just like your appointment dates basically and one of the major struggle when it comes to poland study visa is the ability to get your appointment like i struggled a lot but to be honest with you guys i was able to get it through an agent that i signed up with and i'm also going to say that i am going to partner with this agent and the reason why i'm going to be in partnership with this agent is so that i can tr i have like my whoever is coming through me we feel safe and secure so they were very good they did a very nice job but i'm going to be partnering with them in order for you to secure your appointment if you're interested so in no order i'm going to be listing out the rest of the documents in no order so this document here i don't know if it's focused but this document here is called this document here is called zalwashini i don't know how to pronounce this guys but this is a polish document so basically when you are being given appointments when you have like your appointment dates you have to reach out to your school to send you know documents to you so this is very compulsory note that once you have your appointments you must reach out to your school to send extension letters and letters for you so this letter is what is called zawashini i don't know but anyway this is in polish language and it just entails like all the details you know stating your name the cause just a means of verifying that yes truly you have admission with the school and of course you can go ahead with the interview so the next document now which is also very compulsory is your data page so this is my so this is my international passport you have to make copies of your data page you know have two copies of your passport data page and also note your passport number it is very compulsory so the next one now is this ah oh, focus okay so the next document is your cv your cv of course you know what your cv is <laughs> curriculum vital okay your cv is also very important please make sure that you make use of the europass method when you are writing your cv okay now the next document now is your flight theory ah, focus okay this is what it looks like 
so this is your flight and i'm going to say that get this document two days or a day before your interview so that your flight interview is still going to be valid and if you are interested and if you want us to help you with this document just send us a dm it's actually very easy and one thing i'm also going to say okay when i get to the insurance part i'm going to also explain something you should also take note of so when you are filling your flights now make sure you have both your you know make sure you book for your tram through like going and also coming that is what your flight interview should also contain next document now i have is this document So this document now is stated certificate. So this is the document that my school sent to me. Now I'm going to say that, you know, once you get your admission from your school, every document that your school is sending to you is very, very important. So make sure you print them out and start keeping them because those are the documents that will pile up to serve as your school documents at the end of the day. So once I was able to get admission, they sent me this document. So this document, the first page says certificate of international student admission you can see that this front page covers everything that has to do with admission the number of year the course when the course is going to be over and all of that now this second page focus i'm just focused okay so this second page is what we have zawachini okay so this zawachini is also what we have yeah earlier is also what we have here so this is the updated version of this right so this is the updated version because this one has like a date that is closed so that's just like you know the document basically so this one just states everything that has to do with your school now another thing again that is very important is your accommodation i'm going to say that if your school has accommodation please make use of the school accommodation for your visa process even though you don't intend staying there so let's say you don't want to stay in your school hostel you want to stay outside for the sake of the visa application process i feel it is advisable you just use your school hostel right so this document here now is confirmation of my student accommodation yeah it's focused so this document now is about student accommodation you know the the name of the hostel the space i've secured the amount i paid for the accommodation and all of that but if your school does not have hostel then you need to get a house you know document that serves as accommodation for you so note that that is also very very important you have to get like a house that will serve as accommodation you have to pay there are people who run that for people they give you like their house um documents but you have to pay them for it so make sure you do that if your school does not have hostel but if your school have hostel i feel like it's just best to do that and avoid every unnecessary stress so the next page now we have so the next page we have is to whom it may consign so this page now states my tuition fee the amount i have paid and also like my application fee so yeah and i'm going to say that you know the school document does not necessarily have to be exactly like this all i'm saying is that whatever school you apply to please make sure you get your documents from them and once they start sending you documents start keeping your documents and when you get your appointments also reach out to the school so that they can send you like an updated document it doesn't necessarily mean that this is exactly how yours is going to look like so this next paper here i have is confirmation so this was also sent from my school also now the next document now aside all those school documents we have our sop we have our sop focus yes it's focused now so we have our sop statement of purpose your statement of purpose is so important guys it is so so important because this is what they want to see they want to see why you are studying this course how does it relate to your previous course what is your intention once you are done with this course you know your sop should be as detailed as possible and also when you're writing your sop it is necessary that the date you put for your sop focus in jesus name necessary that the date you put for your sop should be around your interview day you get what i'm trying to say so basically this is my sop stating who is going to be sponsoring you you also have to state who is sponsoring you in your sop so 
even if you are self-sponsored like I am but for the sake of your visa interview and everything you have to use someone as your self-sponsor and also note that you know one advantage of self-sponsorship is the fact that when someone is sponsoring you rather is the fact that the surname has to match with your name so bear in mind that wherever you are using as your sponsor the surname should correspond with your surname so it should be the same surname and if i venture if the person you intend using does not have the same surname as you you have to prove how you are related to this person you know you have to prove it the best way you can you know either with pictures either in your bank statements you just basically have to prove it but if you have someone who you know you guys bear the same surname it's best you can just use the person to avoid all those stress otherwise prove how you are related to the person so your bank your statement of purpose states your cause your previous cause so guys that is basically what your sop should be all about you know stating why you want to study in this school why you want to study in that course what you intend doing and every other thing so basically i have like a template of sop actually for those you know you are interested so that is it and don't forget i said that your sop date should be okay your sop date should be close to your interview so there's templates for sop you just have to like fit in whatever cause and desire you intend doing so another thing i have here is my nia national identity number okay the card and all of that so i did like a photocopy of this i did colored photocopy of my nia in two pieces so the next one i have here is birth certificate if you don't have like the national population commission birth certificate that is necessary anyway but i don't have it so i'm using like an affidavit for declaration of age so this is actually very simple this is what it looks like focus okay so this is what it looks like and basically you can get this at the court okay or where they do affidavits and all of that and you should also make note that it is stamped you can see it is stamped by i court so this is what makes it legal so this statement basically is just like declaration of age you know your parents where you were born how old are you everything that has to do with you you get that in the court so the next document i have here is my receipt so the receipt i used to make payments for my tuition fee and also my application fee please go ahead and print it out as your copy of your you know copy of your payment do you get it so if you've paid like your tuition fee your application fee please go ahead and print it out so that you can have like a copy another document also is what is called invitation invitation so this invitation was sent also by my school like i said your school is basically going to send like a lot of documents in the course of your program so just go ahead and keep on downloading them and print them out because you are going to need this when you eventually get your appointment so this invitation is thereby you know invites you to Poznan university of science to take course take part in this course from 2022 to 2024 my master's is two years course it also states like the tuition fee that i've paid and the second page states your receipt so you can see so the second page states your receipt of your school fees and also your application fee or the amount you've paid that's the school copy of your receipts that they are going to send to you so this also is very compulsory this is what is called affidavit for relationship or sponsorship so now like i said even if you are self-sponsored like i am please make sure you use someone as your sponsor preferably somebody that has the same surname with you otherwise you can prove your relationship so for me i am using like my senior brother and this is what it looks like focus mm -hmm. so i think it's focused now so this affidavit of sponsorship you know is your sponsor that is going to give you this letter know that this letter is written by your sponsor so your sponsor is going to state that you know he or she is responsible for your welfare he or she is the one sponsoring you stating your name your 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 passport no affidavit of relationship and sponsorship so this affidavit 
relationship or sponsorship is going to be given to you by your sponsor note that i said that even if you are self-sponsored please try and use someone it increases your chance of eventually getting your visa so this affidavit basically is just stating this is your sponsor's letter to you your sponsor is going to write this to you you know to state your relationship so i'm using my senior brother it is written here that you know we are senior brothers we live in the same place by the same parents and he's responsible for all the financial you know all the financial payments and every other thing so and also these documents also should be signed also at this document also should be signed also at the court so that is it, what it looks like so this letter of sponsorship also should be given to you by your sponsor the first letter was letter of relationship you know the relationship between you and your sponsor was what you explained in the first document earlier right in the first document earlier we have yes in the first document earlier this is it and the first document earlier it was affidavit of relationship how you guys were how you guys are related you explain that so this document now is letter of sponsorship so your sponsor has to write this letter for you you know stating that he or she is responsible this is the job he or she does this is the money he or she is willing to give up for your study and is ready for any other you know financial obligations that will come across your studies and everything so one thing about your insurance also is that your insurance should be stamped not your insurance your sponsor letter should be stamped and it must have this you know it should be stamped in the notary court so make sure that your sponsorship letter is stamped make sure you stamped it in the notary court because if you check out this stamp the numbers of the lawyer that signed this document is here focus exactly so the number of the lawyer that signed this sponsorship letter is there which they usually get in contact with the lawyer to just confirm okay so please make sure you don't fake any of your documents so this sponsorship letter is given to you by your sponsor is going to be signed he or she is responsible is aware of your study is aware of the tuition fee aware of where you are staying there's actually a format for sponsorship letter so the next one i have here it's the next document also should be given by your sponsor so here now i have my sponsor's company's id card your sponsor's company id card the second page i have my sponsor nin sleep national identity sleep and then the third page i have my sponsor data page i have my sponsor data page is international passport data page so the first one now is my sponsor id card the second one is my sponsor nin and the third one is my sponsor international passport data page so if your sponsor is into business so even of this um id card is going to be like his business name and also like a cac certificate you need that if your sponsor is into business you need to present your sponsor cac certificate and also like your sponsor's um business name so there is this also this is good so guys now for this your flight um tickets the day you want to book your flight reservation ensure that it matches with your intended day to travel on your visa application form let me come again now when you want to book your flight reservation don't forget that you are booking this your flight reservation a day or two before your visa interview right so when you want to book it the day you are going to put for your flight reservation make sure it is also the same day you stated in your application form that is your intended day to travel so yeah on my intended day to travel i wrote ninth of december so 9th of december on your flight sorry you should also have 9th of december do you get it like so guys the next document now is my data page you know my passport data page so that is the document another document also another document also is your money is your money focus okay yes 
so another document also is your money you have to come along with your 80 euro because this is your application fee money so you have to come along with this when you are coming now also come with your original nin yeah also come with your original nin sleep and of course you know that also come with your passport you should come with your passport let me try and see if i can take like a what do they call this anyways also come with your passport now the set of documents that i'm going to be listing here are for your school documents right so of course if you are coming for msc or even bsc you have to come with your wayek results so this is what it looks like so your wayek results right your wayek results your first degree certificates your first degree certificates your wayek results your transcripts your transcripts and your english proficiency letter should be signed by federal ministry of education can you see it federal ministry of education so it is signed focus so you can see it is signed now on each of the documents is going to be signed so this is my transcript this is a copy of my transcript you will see the signature on every page can you guys see it so on every page of my transcript the signature so guys now you discover that <clears throat> It has like this is Ministry of Education. So every of my transcripts page, every of my transcripts page, like the back of my transcript has like this sticker and also this signature. So I'm gonna say that you know, even before you start like your admission process, you can just go ahead and send your document to you know, send your document. So here now is the transcript, like I said, your first degree certificate also. Is also going to be attached you can see this sticker and also the signature and to who it may concern so you also need like your proficiency in English language so these are basically like the documents you need when you are applying for your study route so that is what it looks like what other documents so for my oh, focus so for my wired also it is also carries like the sticker and also the signature so basically the documents that you are going to send to the federal ministry of education is your wayek results your first degree or your transcripts and your first school living certificates you get that if you are going for msc but if you are going for bsc you just need to submit like your wayek results basically so these are all the documents now the bottom part is always the sweetest <sighs> the most i'm gonna say this and this is just like my own opinion basically so the most difficult document to get is your bank statement that is for me let me know what your most like the difficult statement for your different let me know what the most difficult document for you is in the comment section so for me so you don't carry your money around your way we are in pursuit of money you are pursuing money before they will pursue your own money <laughs> So basically those are the documents i saw another thing you need is your passport this is what it looks like see fine again now eh, eh, eh. <laughs> anyways you need your passport photograph and your passport must be white and there is a format for your euro pass passport okay there's a calculation a format of it you can just check it on the website or go to like a very detailed photoshop or studio and just take it okay so guys these are all the documents required and i hope this video has been able to explain to you guys how to get your document for further details and illustration please follow us on instagram my instagram andrew is going to be somewhere on the screen and if you're interested in getting your appointment and every other document please reach out to us on instagram thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye